please hit the subscribe button and click that notification bell to keep up to date with our latest videos. Good afternoon. Recently we released a video on how the Okagawa SmartDAC Plus series chart recorders comply with the data integrity guidelines as we reviewed the key features of the hardware. Today I will show you the software side using the Universal Viewer software and demonstrate how the historical data files generated are secure and contain all of the critical data from a process and compliance perspective. So when we talk about the software side, we look at the Universal Viewer. It's the data viewing software that comes with the Okagawa Smart Deck series chart recorders. So we start by opening a file and if we look at one of the files that we generated in our last video when we were using the GX20 chart recorder, you'll see that the file extension is a .gse. So that's a proprietary binary encrypted data file that can only be opened using the viewer software. When you click on it once, it gives you a preview about the file, the hardware type, the start and stop time of the recording, the sampling rate, etc. So if we go ahead and open the file, the first thing you'll typically see is your trends of the recorded data. You have your tags for the sensors that were recorded and their scales. And you have different tabs for the different display groups that had been generated during the configuration. But when we talk about the software and the data files in terms of data integrity, one of the important things to emphasize is that every data file generated on the Yokogawa Smart Tech series has the audit trail and the alarm summary embedded within the data file. So when you go to list, you have a number of tabs starting off with the alarm log. So it's any alarms that were generated. So in, in that last video, we had forced an alarm on channel one, which is a clean room temperature. We see it's a high alarm and it gives us both the on and off condition for that alarm. When we click on mark list, we see any messages that were generated, either free messages that were entered during operation or an automated message in this case, which was generated in the event of a high alarm for that clean room temperature. And again, that is also displayed on the trend as you see here. If you want to look at the audit trail, then you click on the operation log list. So it lists all of the users that had interacted with the system during the recording, what type of action they had, and then you can, like we did in the previous video, we looked at how we made an alarm change and how that was displayed in the audit trail on the hardware itself in, in terms of the new enhancements to the firmware. The same applies within the software. So when you click on display, it's able to define the alarm change from 30 degrees down to 29. If you choose to export the data for internal reasons, obviously if you export it to an editable format, it kind of steps outside compliance, but a lot of customers do like to uh, export the data for their own internal reporting uh, reasons. You can simply click on convert and you can choose to export your alarms, your messages, or your alarm log, for example, select a location and then export it to .xls uh, format. The other important thing to note is in terms of the data file itself, every data file that's generated with the advanced security function for 21 CFR compliance has the configuration file embedded behind it. So be it a batch record or a 24 hour continuous monitoring for environmental monitoring systems, for example, every file that's generated has that configuration embedded behind it and can be extracted from this location here from setting information. So if you have the hardware configurator software, you click on that, it'll automatically bring you into that software and give you the configuration as it was applied when that last recording had happened. Another question we commonly get asked is about, particularly around continuous monitoring uh, applications. Again, I keep mentioning EMS or environmental monitoring applications where a customer might be recording data 24 seven and they want to be able to look back over a month or maybe two, three months and generate a report of the data, maybe alarm trends, 
uh, or temperature trends, alarm records, audit trail records for a broader period of time, despite the fact that the files have been generated in 24 hour files. So to do that, you can simply click on the search open icon. So I've automatically selected a folder with continuous files and I've selected a time period from the first of a month to the first of the following month. And if I hit search here, it looks for all of the files that were generated in that time period. But if I click on link view, it will allow me to generate one single file, which is the combination of all of those single files for those 24 hour files. Simply click open and it joins all those files into one monthly file. So now I have all of my trending for that time period. Again, I have all my different areas and, gr and groups as they were uh, configured on the system at the time. And just like earlier on, I can go to list and I can look at all of the alarms for that month of October. Again, I can convert that data and export it to Excel if I wish and also my operation log. So the full list of operations for that monthly period are all enclosed within that file. So it's a very simple way of be it looking to print off a trend for a longer period of time. You don't just have to open them or create reports in individual daily files. You can group them using that filter search function. So just another Handy tip to be aware of if you're a user or hopefully a future user of the Yokogawa Smart Deck series, chart recorders and the software. But stay tuned to our YouTube page and we'll continue to add new practical videos on the equipment, not just the Yokogawa chart recorders, but our wide range of products um, and tips to help our customers to better utilize them in their applications. Thank you.